Out of the way, birds, please. What is up, UCSD? I'm Miles. Today, I'm gonna to try to find all of the COVID vending machines on campus because you gotta get tested. And if you don't wanna do remote learning for more than two weeks, you just, you just should get tested, please. Um, so I'm starting out with Ravel. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda of do like a sweep around UCSD. I have two hours to do it because the sun's gonna set in two hours. We'll see if we can do it. But um, yeah, let's find as many COVID vending machines, not COVID vending machines, COVID test vending machines as possible. Uh, join me, will you? You should. Yeah, let's go. All right, the first place I'm gonna look in Ravel is Galbraith Hall. I will say, one of the things I adore about Ravel is the giant spike. Okay, so a little update, Galbraith Hall is closed, so I'm gonna rule that out as a potential vending machine site. Let's keep going. Maybe 64, the dining hall, it's kind of like centralized. That might have it. Construction. There's the spike. So I actually found the vending machine, but before I go there, I wanted to showcase the Revell Anchor, where you can just spray paint it. And students do spray paint it very frequently. Uh, and yeah, you guys should spray paint it. So my mistake was going to Galbraith Hall when actually you're supposed to go to Argo Hall and there's the COVID vending machine. One out of one found. Let's send Wi-Fi and redacted onto Muir. All right, so Muir is gonna be easy. Uh, it's actually one of the ones that I do know the location of. Uh, you may know Muir by literally being the college with the most concrete, I think and all the brutalism. A lot of people know where Pines is. That's the dining hall in Muir, which is uh, right here. But not a lot of people know that there are, I mean, I'd imagine not a lot of people know. If you're like vegan or vegetarian, you probably know. But there's this place called Roots under, under Pines. There's also a coffee shop in the middle of Muir. And that is where you're gonna find the next vending machine. So here is Muir's COVID vending machine. Just go under uh, Pines, and you'll find it to the right. Let's go on to Sixth College. All right, so you may recognize Sixth College as being the newest college that is built. It's also the college that has a lot of window art with sticky notes. Uh, I'm also a sixther, but I lived in like Camp Snoopy, so I've pretty much never gotten to live here. This is also one that I know the location of just because it was like the only one I knew the location of. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find plant power, which is right there. You go down these stairs into the parking garage. And from there, if you keep going straight and to your left, you will find the six college COVID vending machine, COVID test vending machine. There's the six college COVID vending machine. Um, those are the stairs that we came down. You can also access it through this little open area there from the road that goes straight through Six College. So, Six College done. Now we gotta go to Marshall. Let's go. Okay, so I have no idea where the Marshall COVID test vending machine is. Kind of following the general guidance, I would imagine that it's near the dining hall. Uh, and that's OVT, where they got cool pizzas, uh, acai bowls, and stuff. So let's find out if it's there. I hope it is. Because Marshall, is Marshall is a bigger college than I thought. OVT. Oh, I think I see something. I think I found it. There, when you walk over the bridge to get to OVT, you're gonna go down, you're gonna keep going straight. You find some stairs, go down those, and then. Nope. Yeah, yeah. There's a vending machine, I think. Let's find out. So, we have located the Marshall vending machine. That was easier than I thought. On to ERC. 
All right, so I already know this one too. Uh, <laughs> what you're gonna do to get to the COVID test vending machine at uh, USC is you're gonna find your favorite dining hall, which is Cafe V, and do a full 180, and you'll find all the way down the lawn is the COVID test vending machine. So let's go there and see what it looks like. So here is the ERC COVID test vending machine. Got a nice little tarp over it. Let's go to the village. I remember when I first came to UCSD uh, on the Facebook meme page, there used to be uh, a joke that ERC didn't exist. And I was particularly fond of that. Okay, I didn't mean the village, I meant seventh college, which used to be the village, but uh, yeah, off to seventh college. So I don't really know what seventh college is famous for, but I will say that when it used to be the village, it used to have the best market on campus. So we'd bike all the way to the market just to get some nice stuff with dining dollars. You may know it as that too. I don't know where the COVID test vending machine would be here. I have found the seventh college vending machine. This one is, do you know where the bistro is? It's right across the street from that. You can see that's market and be sure right out there. Go through the store and you will find the seventh college vending machine. On to, what is it? I think it's Warren next. So the sun is currently kind of setting. Um, I think we got a good chance at finding all of them before sundown. Um, yeah, let's, let's figure it out. I, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. Hi, I would like to dedicate this part of the video to our sponsor, UCSD Bike Lanes. They are answering the lifelong question, if bike lane, then why so walkable? They'd like me to remind you that the bike lanes are for bikes only and uh, not walking. So please do not do it. Okay, back to the video. All right, so the last official college on our list is Warren College, probably most famous for all the student art collection things that they have, uh, such as Vices and Virtues, the box building with a bunch of words on it, uh, Fallen Star, the house that's on a cliff, and Barrel, which we'll go to right now. I guess so finding the COVID test vending machine, my first thought is to go to Barrel, uh, not because I think it has a vending machine near it, but because it's just, you know, you gotta visit Barrel. I've heard it called different things, but I wanna make one thing clear. Its name is Barrel, like, like Earl, with, or like a bear. Um, Anyways, let's find that COVID test machine. I have no idea where this vending machine will be, but we'll find out. So I think my second best bet to find the test machine is to go where the dining halls are. So I'm currently walking to Canyon Vista uh, to see if there's the test machine there. I'm walking past Canyon Vista and I can't find the COVID test machine. I'm just kind of gonna walk around, see if it's in a random area. We might not make it before the sun sets. I am at a loss right now. I have walked around almost all of Warren and cannot seem to find the test machine. Um, but I will not give up. It's the last college that we have to look for. So, uh, let's keep looking. Okay, so at this point, I've walked around Warren and I don't even know if there is a COVID test vending machine here. So I'm gonna have to cheat and look online and look at the list of all the vending machines that they have. Uh, so let's find out if they even have one. So on here, it says that near a bear statue. I would call it anything, so I'm gonna call things where the same is bear. There is a COVID vending machine. So, COVID test vending machine. Let's go find it. I'm back at Barrel, and allegedly there is a test machine across from Barrel. Although, I do not see it. So, we're gonna have to do a little bit more scavenging. not see it at the CSC building. Okay, so it looks like we found it. For reference, there's Barrel, the, the back side of Barrel, and 180 brings you to this little corner, 
and that gives us the final COVID testing machine on our journey of the official colleges. There's one bonus one that we're gonna go to, which is at the village at Pepper Canyon. This part of campus is probably most famous now for its trolley stop. Um, I know it because I lived here for most of my second year before everything went online. It used to be Old Sixth. Uh, it's now been converted into transfer housing for the village and renamed into the village. Also, you may know it for one of the other staples at UCSD. So this is Foodworks, AKA the best dining hall on campus. Um, if you keep going down from Foodworks, we're going to find our last piece of treasure. All right, so the last COVID test machine that I'm gonna highlight on campus is in the middle of the village east. Um, it's right here, if you know where the lodge is, it's right next to that. It's also right next to the Love Res Life office. Um, so yeah, if you're in the village, get tested here. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys all have a great start to your winter quarter and see you in the next video.